Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following them, yeah? Oh, people, we got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Side to say, we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, ain't but 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fatik Bay. Huh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f out of my way. Got a job to do. an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world. Predator's 350 fierce teeth are put on full display. Exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark, this bull makes creative use of her powerful tail. A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt show. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. A breaching shark is a rare and calorie-intensive spectacle.
It is well known that sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals. Less discussed is their propensity to feed on fear. Outside of the natural environment. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, Chad. Some dinner coming for us. Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun Queen, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. This my daddy's iron, all right. But this ain't the shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. Oh, oh look at it. She's on for me. Hello. Oh, are your mama in there? Oh, well, why'd you do that? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You never want to turn off that gun.
A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home, and let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. Not really a gourmand, the bull shark will eat just about anything.
just like the vibrant, brightly hued ocean world becomes a bloodbath. The overhunting of Fawtix Keystone Predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. Freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here. Having detected her prey, the bull shark's sensorial system comes alive with amplified vibrations. Well, I didn't expect that to happen. Some shark species practice cannibalism in utero.
rising sea levels have made once unreachable corners of the bayou accessible. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can. the strangest thing ever retrieved from a crocodile's mouth. should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision-making.
The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. The gluttonous grouper eats fish, octopi, and crustaceans. In spite of their reputations as wrestlers, alligators haven't mastered the nuances of scientific holds like the figure four.
Someone should have taken a gun safety class. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. Critic once wrote that Amos Beauregard was the Rodin of the Bayou, but Beauregard was functionally illiterate and had no idea who Rodin was. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine tenths appetite. These soft stuff mascots don't provide much in the way of nutritional. I used to buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone disrupting chemicals and palm oil. Mighty Predator struggles for air. A shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta.
Remember, if you find yourself hard aground, the best thing to do is stay with your canoe and die the death of an honorable sea. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Peace of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness.
a group of consenting adults wants to perform cryptic rites to shadow forth the prophecy of the great old ones, <laughs> who am I to judge? The moment she's born, the shark's cold expression of time are constantly on a watch for food. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996.
and sensing devices are key to the bullshit's success as a hunter. Catfish have specialized taste buds all over their bodies, so they know that you're the one that peeked in the water. Necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious well balanced diet. Bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. Some shark species practice cannibalism in utero.
Honestly, I found that shark a little one note to build a whole season around. For human hunters and animal predators alike, the bayou is revered for its wildness and generosity. Vegetation salinity zones in this area include fresh marsh, intermediate marsh, brackish marsh, and saline marsh. The resilient bull shark is able to navigate all of them with ease. Goaded by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. Dead Horse Lake serves as a salient metaphor for human fallibility in the face of avoidable catastrophe.
appreciate the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. Artists spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. The shark returned. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this episode, and as usual, leave a comment down below, subscribe to more video updates, and share this on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all the, all the social medias, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and to turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on my YouTube channel. And if you guys want to help me out in some shape or form, I do have a Patreon account down below in the description box. And as usual, thank you for watching everybody, and have a pleasant day. Bye-bye.